Good morning. We're glad you're joining us this morning. We're discussing health problems associated with weight gain with Dr. Ronnie Lay. If you have any questions, you can give us a call. 756-1212. Weight gain questions. 756-1212. And we want to welcome you to the show. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Rachel. This is the time of the year where people drop off their New Year's resolutions, right? We were going to get in shape, but we're going to lose weight. And then it just doesn't happen, right? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the problems associated with weight gain? Well, quite a few. Uh, some of the medical problems associated with weight gain, Rachel, or hypertension, diabetes, uh, joint problems like arthritis, gallbladder problems, uh, sleep apnea, and some cancers too. Obesity does pose a risk for certain types of cancer like really? breast cancer and colon cancer also. So, I mean, these are some of the common problems, not to mention some, I mean, I, can, I could probably run a mile list, long list here, but uh, these are some common problems. What if you just lose five or 10 pounds? Are you gonna necessarily see any health benefits to that? Well, uh, it, it depends on how much you weigh. Um, medically, we go by what's called a BMI or body mass index, which is actually uh, weight in kilograms, it's the ratio of weight in kilograms uh, and the square of your height in meters. So in general, if your BMI is between 20 and 25, that's healthy weight for you. Uh, if it's over 25, you're considered overweight and if it's over 27 or 28, you're considered obese. So uh, losing five or 10 pounds may make a difference. It's, it's a good start, it's a good start. Does that have anything to do with the BMI with your age? Uh, yes, your age does slow your metabolism in general, and it's harder to lose weight as you get older. That's, that's great <laughs> news. We love that, don't we, folks? 756-1212 is the number to call if you have questions about weight gain, 756-1212. Any simple tips for folks who just want to get started? To get started, again, I would suggest start with uh, diet. Um, because exercise is great, but exercise is great at maintaining the, the weight you've lost. But to start out with, a uh, diet would be great. And in general, you should start by maintaining a diary and writing down what you consume throughout the day. Uh, I would suggest, um, I mean, if you're consuming more than 10 times what you weigh in pounds, you're probably eating too much. Say, for example, you weighed 150 pounds and you're consuming more than uh, 1,500 calories a day, that's, that's too much for you. So that's, that's what I would suggest. To, so start by cutting back on fat and cutting back on calories and then work on increasing your activity. And of course, you'll be surprised if you start writing it down exactly how much you eat because we don't think about how that's often right. we're putting something in our mouth. That's right. Holly is our first caller this morning. Hi, Holly. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead with your question. I was wondering what, if she would comment about the B12 um, uh, injections, I'm forgetting the other word that goes with it, the B12 injections that people get for weight loss, and I was wondering if the doctor would comment on that. Uh, Holly, are you there? Yes. All right. Um, well, with B12 injections, there's no uh, medically proven studies that show that uh, vitamin B12 does produce weight loss. Now, certain people who have had weight loss surgery, um, you know, for losing weight uh, are deficient in their B12 levels and they may need uh, B12 shots to just to keep up their levels. But uh, there's been no proven studies that B12 does produce weight loss. Let's go to Vicki now. Hi, Vicki. Hi. What's your question? Uh, I have diabetes and they put me on Actos along with Metaform and Glitside and I have gained a lot of weight. Is there anything else I could take? Uh, besides metformin and glipizide, um, you know, metformin is a good drug for, uh, you know, maintaining your weight loss. Of course, if you have diabetes, you know, uh, again, you may want to start with exactly what I mentioned before, you know, maintaining, putting it down in writing as to how much you consume and carb control is the key here. Uh, if you're talking about any other medicines, yes, Bieta is an injection that's available that's supposed to maintain um, even glycemia and also uh, could produce some weight loss. So you may want to you know, schedule an appointment with your doctor to go ahead and get some Bieta injections. You may be a candidate. Let's put the information on the screen for you now for Dr. Alay. if you have more questions. She's at 1720 Gun Barrel Road in Suite 206. The number to call for more information or appointment is on your screen at a 648-8110. Remember to talk to your physician before making any health care changes. I want to thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Rachel. Appreciate it. Stay with us. We'll take a short break and be back. You're watching WDEF News 12 this morning.